Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Hebrew 6 of the King James Version Bible and it reads Therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on hands, laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment and this will we do if god permit for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gifts and were made partakers of the holy ghost and have tasted the good word of god and the powers of the world to come if we they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance seeing they crucify to themselves the son of god afresh and put him to an open shame. For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it, and bringeth forth herbs, meat for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and briar is rejected, and is nigh unto person whose hand is to be burned. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, and things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak for god is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have shewed toward his name in that ye have ministered to all saints and do minister and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them, an end of the of all strife, wherein God, willing more abundantly to shew unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil, whether whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus made an high priest for ever after the order of Melchizedek. Hi guys, so we see that in this chapter it speaks of an oath an oath taken by god an oath given by god when he had called abraham he had made an oath to abraham that he would multiply his seeds and make his seeds to be as the stars in the sky and not only that but we see that we also have made an oath to god when we baptize and that oath is that we will live according to the will of god until our very death right that's why we say that vows are upon me oh god until death and when we backslide as we call it or we turn away from the will of god then we hurt jesus it's as if we're crucifying jesus yet again and that is what this chapter wants us to understand to fully understand that when we sin it's as if we're crucifying Jesus anew because remember Jesus died to wash away our sins and if we sin then there's something else to be washed away and so what happens is that it's like Jesus has to be dying again so when we think of sinning think of it as this if you love God if you love Jesus then you don't want him to be crucified over and over and over again so you will not sin because you know that sin was the reason why he died to wash away our sins and if you're if you're creating a new sin then you are inflicting injury to him once more all right so if that helps you to keep on the right path then do so i love this chapter 
Alright, so guys, please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.